So continuing on with our Vox animation series, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this dot graph animation. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna right click, create a new composition. I'm going to set this to be 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second, and I'm going to set the duration to be about five seconds in length. So the first thing we want to do is actually create our background. So I'm going to right click and create a new solid here, and I'm just gonna set mine to be black. Now we're ready to actually add our first line of text. So I'm going to right click and create a new layer of text. Now I'm just gonna type out my first date here, which will be 1970. And then I can adjust the color. I can then scale the size up and change the font to be whatever you like. So now I want my text to actually animate in from the bottom. So we can easily do this by using the effects and presets panel here on the right. So if I search for straight, I can use this animation preset straight by character. Then I can simply just drag this onto my text and you can see it animates in here from the right. Now what we actually want to do is animate our text in from the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to come down here to the settings and I'm first going to speed this up by dragging my end keyframe in. Then I can adjust the X and Y positions to position it in the bottom of my screen. Now if I right click on these two keyframes and make them both easy ease, I can then hit my graph editor. And if I make sure that this is set to my speed graph, I can then drag in on this second keyframe here and that's going to create a really nice smooth animation. Now to cover up the bottom of this animation, we're going to create a box and overlay that over the top of this text. So I can come up here to my rectangle tool. Now the color doesn't matter too much as long as it's a solid color. I can then simply drag out a rectangle underneath my text. Now to actually hide the text, what we're going to do is come down here to the track mat settings and I'm going to set this to be the alpha invert mask of the shape layer above. Now the next part of this is we actually want to create the little dot. So what I'm going to do is create a new shape layer here. Now you can set the color to be whatever color you like. And if I hold shift on my keyboard, I can simply just draw out a circle here on my screen. Now it's really important that the anchor point is in the center of that circle. So an easy way to reset this is if I hold command or control on my keyboard, I can simply just come up here and double click on my pan behind tool and that's automatically going to reset that to the center of that shape. Now I actually want to animate the position of that dot. So what I'm going to do is create a keyframe for the beginning of my position and then I'm going to move across in the timeline and create another position keyframe and I want to move my first position slightly above. Then you can readjust any timing you need by dragging in on that second keyframe. Now the other thing we want to do is also add a little bit of a fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a keyframe for my opacity here at the start and a second one about midway through the animation. And I'm going to set my start opacity to be zero. Now it's just a matter of highlighting all those keyframes. I can then right click and make them all easy ease. Then we can come over to our graph editor and I can simply repeat that process by dragging in on this end point for my position properties. And that's going to create a really nice smooth animation. Now the last step here is to create the counter which sits above. Now because we've already created these elements before, all I need to do is select both these bottom layers here and simply just come up and duplicate I can then drag these to the top. Then I'm going to delay the start by dragging those two layers across on my timeline. Then it's just a matter of repositioning those layers to wherever you like. Then I can repeat this process by editing that layer of text. So over here, I'm going to change the color. I'm also going to drop the size slightly and I'm going to change my font to be something a little bit thinner. Now the last little part of our counter is we want to actually put a circle which animates around the number. So to do this, all I need to do is come up here to my ellipse tool and I'm going to make sure that the fill options are set to none. Then I can set my stroke color and also the stroke width. And if I drag out a circle while holding shift on the keyboard, I can create a new circle here and reposition it to wherever I like. I'm going to drag the start of it across to also line up with my number here. And at the moment, we've just got a solid circle. We don't actually have an animation. So to create the circle animation, what we're going to do is come down here and we're actually going to add a dashes by clicking this little plus button. Then with my playhead here back at the start of that layer, 
I can set keyframes for both the dash and the offset. Now I'm going to set my dash here to be 550 and I'm going to set the offset to be negative 550. Then if I move along on the timeline, I can create two new keyframes by entering in a new set of numbers. Now I'm going to set the dash to be 650 and I want the offset to be zero. Now it's just a matter of selecting all those keyframes. I can right click and make them all easy ease. I can come back to the graph editor and then just adjust the graph by dragging in on these endpoints. So now we have our first finished animation and we're ready to create our other layers. So all we need to do is I'm going to select all these layers, then I'm going to come up to layer, down to pre-compose, and I can call this one the year that I've set for that first layer and then hit OK. Now all we need to do is just repeat that process. So I can come over here, I can select that layer, I can come up to edit down to duplicate, then I'm going to rename this one to be my next layer. Then if I simply open that layer up, we're ready to repeat this process again. Now because we've already made all the animation in the first one, all we need to do is simply just double click to change the text. So I'm going to change this first number to be 1980 and I'm also going to change my counter to be three this time. So now I want to duplicate the dot that we've already created. But instead of just duplicating the layer several times, there's a simple way we can do this by using a repeater. So with that dot layer selected, I'm going to come down here and if I hit this little add button, I can add a repeater. So if I come down here, I can make sure that this is set to three because we want three dots. And if I come down to the position properties, I can simply drag in on this and that's going to bring those dots closer together. Now to reposition them, I'm going to set my offset to be negative one and that's simply going to line all those dots up neatly in the middle. Now back in the main composition, I'm ready to start positioning all these layers. So I'm going to reposition my first layer here, which is the 1970. Then I can drag in my second layer and reposition that right next to it. Then I can simply delay the start of that second layer by dragging it across. And then we're ready to repeat this process again. So with that last composition selected, I can just come up here and duplicate. I'm going to rename this to my next year. And then we can simply go through and change all that text again. So I'm going to change my date to be 1990 and I'm going to change my counter to be 66 this time. Now in order to create 66 dots, we're not only going to have to add more dots horizontally, we're actually going to have to start multiple rows of these dots as well. So to do this, all we need to do is come down here and I'm first going to change the copies to be 11. I'm then going to change the offset to be negative five. And then if I come down to my transform scale properties, I can scale the size of these dots right down. Now we're going to need this extra space because we're about to add multiple rows of these dots. So to do this, all we need to simply do is add another repeater. So if I come over here and add another repeater, I can come down to that second repeater and I want to repeat this six times. Then it's just a matter of coming down to the position properties of that second repeater and then adjusting the X and Y positions so that they all line up nicely in one large grid. Now to actually adjust the overall position, we can simply just come down to our transform properties and to the anchor point. And if I drag up and down on this, we can reposition those dots as one collective group. Then I can just reposition the counter for that particular composition. And now if I come back to my main composition, I can drag in that third layer and reposition it however you like. Now for our last composition, we're going to do something a little bit different, but we are firstly going to repeat this process by firstly duplicating it, renaming it, and then I've already gone ahead and changed my date and my counter number. Now in order to create 378 dots, all I'm simply going to do is come down to my repeater properties and adjust the numbers accordingly. So I set my first one to be 21. I can readjust the offset. And on my second repeater, I'm going to repeat this 18 times. Then again, I can just reposition the anchor point to move this whole layer up now for this particular animation, we're actually going to firstly delete all these keyframes for that layer. 
So I'm going to select all these keyframes and just simply delete them so we no longer have any animation. Then I can simply just reposition my counter to be on top of all those dots. And for the animation, what we're going to do is I'm going to come up here to my ellipse tool and I'm actually going to drag out a big circle which covers all of my dots. So I'm going to come up to the ellipse tool here. I can adjust the fill to be a solid color. Then I'm going to create a large circle which covers all of my dots. Then I can readjust the timing and I'm going to drag this layer down here so that it sits directly above my points layer. Then with my dots layer selected, I'm going to come over to the track mat settings and I'm going to set this to be the alpha mat of that shape that we just created. Now you'll see straight away that that circle actually disappears and when I actually move that shape around the screen, you can see it's revealing the dots that sit behind it. So all we need to do here is actually just animate the position of that circle layer and that's going to create a cool reveal of all of our dots. Now it's just a matter of coming back to our main composition and dragging that layer in. I can then position this nicely here at the end I can then readjust the timing and if we play through we now have our finished animation. So there you go guys, that's how you create this dot animation. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more videos over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.